It's the latest Obamacare surprise. The White House has given the go-ahead for new cost controls. Listen to this. Health plans can now put a dollar amount limit on some expensive procedures like knee and hip replacements. For more on this, Ovik Roy with the Manhattan Institute. Ovik, thanks for coming on the show. So this is called reference pricing. And what they're going to do here is they're going to put you know, price tags on things. You can't go over 20000 You can't go over 30000 for these big ticket items. Is this a good idea? This is possibly one of the most significant free market introductions in Obamacare that we have ever seen since the law was passed. This could be revolutionary, in fact. So this is something that will actually hold down the cost of Obamacare, which is something that has been spiraling out of control. Here, here's Except why. So, you know, you and I have talked on your show so many times about how on the Obamacare plans, your choice of doctors and your choice of hospitals is restricted. And the way that works is the insurer negotiates with the doctor saying, says, you have to be able to do this procedure for 10,000 bucks. If you don't, you're out of the network. You're not going to be a doctor right. that that person can enroll with. But the way reference pricing works is the reference price says to the, the insurer says to the patient, here's the 10,000 bucks. You two go take that to any doctor you want, and if he takes your ten thousand bucks, go to town. If the doctor wants to charge fifteen thousand bucks, you're responsible for the extra five thousand. That's what I don't like about it. I mean, as a consumer, as public policy, I like the idea it's capping costs, but as a consumer, I think, wow, this is this could be a problem for me because it could be coming out of my pocket. But but it, it, the the cost is already being controlled either way. Right? If the cost is controlled through a less choice of doctors, that's worse for you. I'd rather have you ask me. I'd rather have 20 doctors instead of 10 and be able to negotiate with those doctors to give me the price that I would have paid anyway. So to the consumer, from a cost control standpoint, it's the same. The thing that it does, though, is expands the choices that the patient has. And so that's why they're doing it. They're I doing it because they're point. feeling the pressure of everyone complaining about these narrow networks of doctors, and they're trying to alleviate that problem. And if they do it this way, it could really be a very important development. Another, though, devil in the details here that's not positive is that extra 5000 that may have to come out of your pocket, right? That doesn't apply to your deductible. You just have no. to pay it. No. So, I mean, how is this a benefit for people? On a, I thought Obamacare was supposed to reduce costs for people, and it seems to me that now it's all confused. Well, Obamacare is not reducing costs for people in general, and that's a real no, problem with the law. That's true. But it's not because of this particular feature. The fact that insurers are creating different types of plans, some with narrower choices of physicians and some with broader choices of physicians, in a free market, you would have that. You'd pay more for the broader choices. If you want to stay in the Ritz-Carlton Hotel rather than the Marriott, you're going to pay more for that. That's normal. That's how it should be. Well, I, I'm, it's going to be interesting to see how this works. I think one of the ultimate unintended consequences, which is frankly great, is that we're getting more information on what things cost. That's, and that's going to be even more true under this system. Because now, under the, the old system, the hospital didn't have to tell you what they would charge you. Now they're going to have to tell you because you're going to have that $10,000 to give them, and they're going to say, we're either going to take your $10,000 or we're going to charge you more, and that data will become available. We'll get to know what hospitals are charging. Ovik, who's going to set the prices, though? It's going to be a voluntary, exchange, just like when you buy a computer or buy a phone, there's going to be a market, right? And those high-priced hospitals are going to have to decide, do we want to charge less money to meet the consumer where the consumer is, or are we going to keep our snooty prices higher and just see who comes? Don't you think that if there's a hospital out there that isn't charging 30000 for the knee replacement, they soon will be, though? That I mean, isn't that an unintended consequence? Um, it, that, that could be a problem if the government were setting the prices. But because the insurers are going to be setting the prices, that won't necessarily happen. Here's why. Because if it's clearly true that the hospitals are willing to take less money, then the, then the insurer can actually reduce the reference price to and a lower level. And they're to do that. And that brings costs down and brings premiums down and saves not only individuals but taxpayers a lot of money. If we can bring down the cost of Obamacare, I guess that would be a good thing. I just don't want it coming out of my pocket. Ovik, exactly. thank you. Thank you.